I remember in 1989, when the Berlin Wall fell down, there was a great celebration in Berlin, and the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra played a part in it, and they came out to a section of the wall that had been knocked down, where there was a huge crowd, and played Beethoven's Ninth. And I remember watching that, the great third movement, the triumphant third movement. And it was so wonderful to see everyone there and hear this orchestra playing those unbelievably remarkable notes in triumph that this horror show had finally come to a halt. You can imagine someone critically minded and rational at an event like that standing behind you as you're listening to the great strains of that symphony manifest themselves, tap you on the shoulder and say, well, you know, that symphony is going to end. What makes you think it has any meaning at all? It's like, well, how do you respond to something like that? You say, you should reconsider the way you're looking at the world there, buddy. Because that's just not the right answer. It's just not the right question. It's like, the symphony has no meaning because it ends. Well, you're not paying attention to what's going on, if that's the way you think. Or maybe you're thinking too much. Yes, you're thinking too much and not paying enough attention. But it's more serious than that. And this ties in the issue of pain. Say, what does it all matter if in 10 billion years the earth is going to fall and or the sun is going to expand and consume the earth? What difference does it make? And I would say, well, is that that kind of answer you're going to give to a child that's in pain? That's your answer? It's like, hey, you've got the flu, you're anxious, you're having a nightmare, you're in terrible pain, <laughs> but in 10 million years, who the hell is going to know the difference? <laughs> yeah, right, no kidding. Eh? It's like, you don't... <laughs> if the question is, if that response is absurd in that situation, then it's an absurd response. The mere fact that you can come up with a time frame across which your current activity is meaningless only means that you're capable of playing with meanings across time frames. It doesn't mean anything at all about meaning, as far as I can tell. Is it absolutely obligatory that everything that's meaningful has to be significant in some unimaginable distant future? Why is that the hallmark? Why wouldn't you just say, well, here's an idea. Why don't you stop conceptualizing your life across time, time frames that takes all the positive meaning out of them? How would that be for a suggestion? Maybe the fact that posing the question in that way makes you feel miserable and wretched and futile is an indication that there's something wrong with posing the question in that manner. And you might say, well, there's nothing wrong with posing questions. And I would say, well, that brings us back to the child in pain problem. Sometimes there is a problem with posing questions in a certain way. And what difference is it going to make in 10 million years is not a sufficient response to someone who's suffering. And then you might say, well, we could, we could expand that idea even. We could take play with that idea of suffering. We could say, well, maybe it's a child in Auschwitz, you know? And the suffering isn't merely a consequence of an illness. Not that that's trivial. But the suffering is the consequence of conscious malevolence. How about that? And the purpose of the malevolence is just to make things worse. And, and to top it all off, because malevolence is a form of art, it's not only to make things worse, it's to make things worse in the worst possible imaginable way, which is basically to amplify the suffering of someone maximally innocent in the most pointless way possible. Well, what, what's your answer to that? It's like... In 10 million years, what difference is it going to make? Life is fundamentally meaningless? It's like, what kind of answer is that? It's an answer that shows that the framework within which that question is generated is invalid. That's what kind of answer it is.